I'ma just go in there, I'ma sit down and just hope that she don't smell me. I don't think she smell me. She won't make no faces or nothing, but I hope that she ain't smell me because you know that's what she, like when you smell somebody stinking, that's something that you always gonna remember them by. Like the girl that's stinking. Like I don't wanna be known as do you know the girl that be stinking like uh-uh. eczema my eczema y'all know my eczema i've been telling y'all that my eczema is really bad like around my neck it's not like flared up right now but that's why it's like darker around my neck and then on my skin but really because my scalp i showed y'all like y'all see at the tip right here you know what I'm saying? it's just been really bad y'all so we gotta figure out what's going on honey sorry for the light but i'm just waiting for the doctor to come in Hello. Hello there, how are you? I'm doing great. How about yourself? I'm doing well. Um, one of the things you you're gonna have to shampoo more frequently. I saw the pictures of how mm -hmm. bad. The problem is you you're just not for whatever reason your scalp is just not tolerating infrequent shampooing. So probably every seven to ten days. Mm. Um, but okay. just having to put that out in the universe. Okay. Some people just and I don't know what makes it. It's kind of a chronic thing, but some mm -hmm. don't. Is like acne. It's one of those cradle to grave kind of illnesses. Babies have it. Old people get it. I can't tell you why you okay. get it or don't get it. But the thing is, you're going to have to shampoo more frequently. I probably take the weaves and stuff out yeah. and just do your natural hair. Um, I'm giving you a medicated shampoo. I'm also going to give you some of the newer recommendations is to do a, um, some oral antifungals to see if we can get the balance okay. back correct on your scalp. Okay. So I wrote you for a medicated shampoo. I wrote for a steroid sparing agent that we have to get a prior off for, and then you're gonna take the antifungal pills, one pill a week for four weeks. Okay. Um, and then I wrote you Does for that a, oh, sorry, go ahead. a steroid cream that you can use. Let me give her a refill on the terms alone. Um, I just don't generally prescribe clobetus all that much. Um, I mean, it works, but um, there's steroids that are less potent than or just as effective, just doing them a couple times a week. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, yeah, I, I do feel like the COVID is on work. Like, it, anytime I'm itching, it stops it, and it mm -hmm. stops it from being raised. Like, this one doesn't itch anymore. It's just the spot there. But, yeah, yeah it's just coming up in Yeah, so Bledisol is not good to put everywhere because it's really way too strong on the steroid for, um, and how long has that been there? That's been there for a while. What's a while? Say, like, um, Years. Six months. Six months. Has it changed or? It used to be like raised up, but now and it's just itchy. What yes. did you did you put clobetus all on it? Yeah. Okay. So now it's just not raised and it doesn't itch anymore. It's just a okay. spot there. Um, and like, I mean, I know I wear my Apple Watch here, but anywhere it's mm -hmm. just. So that's mm -hmm. probably when you see it, like we're watch band. You show take a picture of that. That's probably allergic contact from something with the watch band, or it's. Post inflammatory hyperpigmentation from an irritant dermatitis, maybe from the watch getting wet mm, and like sweaty and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So we'll see you back about the scalp, but you're gonna just have to make some lifestyle <laughs> changes to to if you want to. I understand. I understand. So, I understand. Yeah, Thank like you. I said, it's a cradle to grave kind of illness, and you know. And even with my scalp, it's not like it's um, it's not all over. It's mainly like. You know, by my temples and then in the front area. But other than that, I don't have a problem. So I don't know why it's just certain areas of my head. Mm -hmm. So read the brochure that we provided for you. I'm out of there. Y'all, I don't know. I mean, I don't know how I felt about that doctor. <laughs> not saying that she was rude or anything she wasn't rude i just i just felt like it was kind of rushed but maybe she really didn't like have to touch me or anything like that because i um the the man he just took pictures of me and stuff like that but i don't know how 
I feel about that washing my hair every seven to ten days, y'all. Like, you know, I'm gonna just be honest. I'm black. What black person you know wash their hair that much? Seven to ten days? Man. So I don't know. And she told me no weaves. No weaves or braids. Just wear my natural hair. What? <laughs> and that seemed like it's so simple because it's like, Yvette, why can't you wear your natural hair? But it's so much easier for me to wear a protective style because my natural hair it is just not cool it, it don't be cooperating so i have to go back to her and so we gonna see how it go i pr this should be out my head by may 4th but i don't know about that no i don't know about that <laughs> we gonna see about that she did prescribe me some medicated shampoo because i was thinking like okay like I do be getting my hair washed even with this with it being in the sew-in I can't just wash my hair like wash my scalp with it you know what I'm saying like or like get something to where it can insert into my scalp because it's not like I don't have access to my scalp at all like I can get in my scalp now you know what I'm saying but it's just braided up you know so I don't know because she said it's not really for your hair it's for your scalp so we gonna see, baby. And she gave me some. Okay, don't be beeping at me. The light just turned green. Then it got a nerve to be a school bus. Like, calm your horses, ma'am. She gave me also gave me some medicine because I was using clobetazole, and she was saying that y'all heard everything. Why am I explaining it? But she gave me some some different medicine. So yeah, that's where we at with that. I'm about to go to the gym though. Ooh. This sun is disrespectful. Y'all, I made it to the gym. I'm about to drink my pre-workout. I mean, well, it is my pre-workout. My Celsius. I seen this one, this flavor, when I went into 7-Eleven. So I got this one this time. I wish I had a straw. I always wish I had a straw after I left out. Because I do not like drinking these. I'm not a canned soda type of girl. Are y'all? Are y'all a canned soda type of girl? I'm not. Y'all, I'm back home. I had to come home and make me some lunch. I was so hungry. Please excuse the mess around it. I was just cooking, but I want some sour cream on it. I don't have none though. But today is Tuesday, so I figured I'll make me some healthy tacos. I did the almond flour tortillas, ground turkey, shredded greens, and I used some Siete hot sauce habanero. Now, you guys, I'm about to do some work. Then I'm going to take a shower. And I don't know. We really ain't got much to do today, y'all. But I started out vlogging a little bit earlier in the week versus how I've been vlogging. I've been starting to vlog like Thursday or Friday. But this week we have some things that we're going to do. So, but today I really ain't got much hit info. I ain't got much hit info today. Hey, y'all. Happy, happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. I just left the gym. Had a great workout. I am going to get my nails done today, which I don't feel like it, honestly. I really, something keeps making noise. Y'all, my baby falling apart. Mm -hmm. So the lady that's doing my nails today, she have did my nails before. So she can do nails good. I'm not worried about that, but I'm only getting a French tip because I've never gotten design from her. And I don't have time to be mad today. I am going to um, only get a white French tip. I don't think I have ever gotten a white French tip because that's just not my thing. It's not my vibes. Usually y'all know I get some type of design or something, but I'm not doing that today. I, I really need my feet done. Like y'all, my freaking feet, my feet is beyond, it, it's, it's beyond ridiculous at this point. I need my feet done so bad, but I really, 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 I need to go to a podiatrist y'all. And I say that because my big toe on my right foot it is effed up do you hear me like it's just first of all i have stubbed that toe so many times that the nail is bruised and i i thought that it would just heal on its own i know it takes a long time to heal 
but instead of it healing I feel like it's getting worse because it's like it started out like more so at the top being bruised and now it's going it's all the way down so the whole entire right side of my toenail is just bruised it's like this color and it hurts it hurts like it hurts and when I'm on the Stairmaster I always hit like you know when you're on the Stairmaster you're going up steps so my my the front of my foot is constantly like sometimes it be hitting the step if I go up too far so I need to go see a podiatrist to see if something can be done about that like I did see they have something um, that you can buy from the store that helps heal your toes so maybe I will try that because ever since I've been doing the Stairmaster a lot I have been hitting my toenails a lot y'all and they've been bruising and they look ugly uh-uh so I don't like that um but now I have started wearing socks with my gym shoes which I never did before because I just didn't like the filler I don't know what it is I just do not like wearing socks I don't like wearing socks I don't but now that my feet is messed up I've been forcing myself to wear it and it's not that bad I'm getting used to it now I actually kind of like the barrier now because baby listen them gym shoes mixed with sweaty feet ew today we really don't I don't have anything else to do other than doing nails or getting my nails done y'all but I'm gonna let y'all know right now I'm not bringing y'all in there because y'all know how I am about that I, I used to do it with my old nail tech because she didn't care like you know I would ask her but it's kind of hard to do it when you're getting your nails done but I don't know like I would just have to get more comfortable when it come down to that or or if the person that was doing my nails made me comfortable and be like girl yeah you can film whatever I wouldn't mind doing it but this lady she don't even look like she she is not on Instagram like she don't do that type of stuff so like nah the grilled chicken sorry no, warm good. grilled chicken warm on the salad you're saying yes sure. on the salad all right so grilled not the cold grill. I got you. Yeah, warm. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. And Are, what kind of dressing do you want? Apple cider vinaigrette. I'll give you two of those. <laughs> Thank Maybe. you. Are they able to cut up the chicken or no? Yeah. So the so the warm grilled nuggets comes um, it comes in like nugget form. Oh, I don't want the nuggets. I want the fillet. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. You want me to have them cut it? Yes, if they can. I got you. Yeah. Thank you. And that is all. Okay. Do you want it like? Do you want it just like cut into strips? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. It used to, when I used to get it, it used to come like that, but then now they... So, it does still at times, mm -hmm. I wonder, we just, we have new people back there, so maybe some of them do, some of them don't. Oh, okay, so okay. that's why I'm, I'll open comment and then, so then at least, you know, the more that they work there, hopefully they can realize that. Yeah, the okay. I got you. <laughs> so they'll see it and they'll do it for you. Okay, thank you. Oh, wait. Let me get my chick, I'm sorry, I forgot all about my chick filet no, out. I know y'all busy. <laughs> <laughs> you're always busy. It don't even matter. You're fine. Look, it's Chip fil a right? Yeah. I, you know, for the most part, like, whenever you come in the line, most people know that they're going to be waiting for a little bit of a time yeah. period. So but I know, feel, yeah, I feel like y'all move fast, though. Yeah, we try to. Yeah. I appreciate that. Even if it's a line. I, I mean, there's days where, like, mm -hmm. we're not, and, like, we're trying our hardest to get things out there. Just everything gets going wrong. Yeah. But, yeah. We yeah. All right. Thank you so <laughs> much. Okay. You too. Lord, I don't even know where I'm supposed to be pulling up to. She ain't even tell me. She wait. Did I go through the wrong one? <laughs> Thank you. I was. I, I think I went through the wrong one. I'm the only car over here, Lord. But the girl. <laughs> but the girl. She's. She stuck up her. Uh. She's put her thumb up. So I guess that means that she gonna let me. <laughs> Y'all, yeah, I'm out of the nail salon. Do I love my nails? No. Will it do? Yes. <laughs> um, this I just got French tip. I don't know if y'all really can even tell, but it's just French tip. Nothing special. And I got my feet done, y'all. Let me tell y'all, I was not going to get my feet done, and I'm going to tell you why. I really be wondering sometimes how people don't know that they stink or do they not care. And I'm not even trying to be funny because when I come from the gym, I can smell myself. I know I smell sweaty. I know it's time to go and get in the shower. You know what I'm saying? I know that. You know, I'm not, 
I, I, I know I just came from the gym, but today I did not go home after I left the gym because I didn't have time. So, um, I went straight to the nail salon after I left the gym. Now, I did smell myself, but I'm like, maybe that's what people be thinking. Maybe they be thinking like, I can smell myself, but can't nobody else smell me. But other people really can. So I was hoping that couldn't nobody else smell me because that's just embarrassing. So I was really trying not to do too much movement because you know, when you get that woof, like that, that, that after smell, after you walk past somebody, it be stinking sometimes. Like if you stinking, you definitely gonna smell somebody that after smell. So I really be trying, I was trying not to do too much movement, but then I was like, man, like tomorrow is gonna be nice outside. I'm about to be outside tomorrow. My feet look ridiculous. So I was like, I need to get my feet done. And it was no way that I was gonna be able to get it before. Like I, it was to go home and then come back, it would have been unrealistic because this place is like way out the way from my house. Like literally when I got in the car, it said 40 minutes from home. And so I was not coming back. So I was like, so after I got my nails done, y'all, I went into the car and I was like, I really need my nails. I mean, I really need my feet done. So I said, you know what? I'ma just go in there, I'ma sit down and just hope that she don't smell me. I don't think she smell me. She won't make no faces or nothing, but I hope that she ain't smell me because you know that's, what she, like when you smell somebody stinking, that's something that you always gonna remember them by like the girl that's stinking like i don't want to be known as do you know the girl that be stinking like uh-uh but uh i got my feet done so my feet is ready for tomorrow score um oh look at the little baby the, let me tell y'all what the, the man the lady just let her do her child do okay matter of fact i'm about to show y'all see if y'all can see it do y'all see these little things right here i hope y'all can see because i can't see what y'all see y'all see the little target balls do you see the target balls that have the thing around it that says it has a you know the little rope and it says wet paint she let her child run up to that hands all on it and didn't even stop the child like there's no way you ain't see that lady <laughs> like <laughs> Anyway, that's their business. Oh, American Eagle got buy one get one half off jeans, $25. That's a good deal for American Eagle because American Eagle, you know, is high. Their jeans be like $50. I want a smoothie. Can I get a smoothie? I gotta see if I can factor it into my into my calories for the day. All right, I already had a Celsius. I mean, I already had a Celsius and I had an organic pressed juice. I did not eat my banana. Then I had a salad for Chick-fil-A. I have, oh, but see, it's factor in the fact that I exercise, but not too much. So like on the Lose It app, y'all, I use the Lose It app to track my calories and stuff like that. So on the Lose It app, if you wear your watch, it pairs to the Lose It app. So it pretty much takes away. So when you exercise, it's pretty much deducting what you burn from what you ate, meaning you can eat a little bit more because you burn calories at the gym. However, I don't like for it to deduct the calories from the gym. Maybe it's a way that I can maybe just like unpair it. I'm sure it is. But because I want to stay under a calorie, I want to be under a calorie deficit and I also want to burn even more calories in the gym. I have 1,000 and about about 975 calories that I can eat. So, is there a tropical smoothie over here? You would, oh wait, it's, mm, I think it's on the other side. This is a nice little area that I'm in. And it's 301, I have two hours before I can get the kids. Because this is, this is smoothie, like this is giving smoothie. This, this weather is giving, it is currently, 62 degrees and tomorrow it's gonna be 79 y'all 79 degrees tomorrow oh, we outside i know for sure i'm gonna go over oh now it's a 74 but that's still good because this right now is oh wait no that's today 
Oh, it, tomorrow 80 degrees. <laughs> y'all, I know y'all be like, Yvette, you will be so back and forth. Right now it's 74 degrees and tomorrow it's supposed to be 80, y'all. Spring is here, baby. Spring is here. I am so happy because I feel so good. And like, I was the person that was saying, oh, I'm not ready for the hot weather because my body not right yet. But being that I've been going hard in the gym, I feel like it's okay. Like, it's okay. As long as when my birthday come, your girl is nice and tight. I'm good. So I think I'm gonna get me a smoothie, but first I need to sit here and see. I don't even know if it's a tropical smoothie over here. I'm literally just driving. But I think it is one, unless they took it down. They must have took it down because I sh for sh Oh, yep, it used to be right here. And now they got a fuss spot. <sighs> I want a tropical smoothie. I'm thirsty. But I'm, I'm around my area that I like, y'all. I like to go in TJ Maxx and Ross and all of these other places and just look around. Like, you never know what you're going to find, you know? And I do want to wear something cute tomorrow. Go ahead, lady. Oh, I was just mean. She said thank you. I'm sorry. You're welcome. But she, when I looked at her, she was giving like an angry face. So I thought she had an attitude. So I gave attitude. But I need to stop doing that. My mom would be on the phone with me. She'd be like, Dad, you need to stop talking like that to people. Because earlier, earlier, I see. Back it up, back it up, back it up. What my mom was saying, she was like, Ben, you need to stop talking like that. No, I was like, I was turning, okay, so I was turning into Chick-fil-A and the lady was just staring at me like she had a problem or something. So I was like, what is she looking at? And then my mama was like, Vet, maybe she like how you look. And I was like, Mom, she's not giving that she like what I look, how I look. She's giving, she got an attitude. So I gave an attitude back, but I need to stop being like that for real because I'm really a nice person and people might look at me though and be like oh she's giving she got an attitude I wish I had some socks in here I mean some slides in here it's got my feet now my feet look so pretty my left foot looks so pretty my right foot it's all right that's the foot that's bruised but she do good all the time you would think I ain't had no man the way I be letting my feet look but anytime he say something about my feet I be like well, pay for it. You don't like how I look? Pay for it then. That shut them on up. <laughs> Nowadays, it ain't like how it used to be when you used to ask your man to pay for, uh, when a man pay for your nails or something. You know what I'm saying? Your man probably could give you, you, you probably could have got your feet done for your feet and your hands, a full set for, I would say maybe like $60. Now, y'all, I pay $60 for my nails alone. And I don't even love them. And then all I did was get a polish change on my feet. And that was 25 Anyway, let's go on TJ Maxx. Y'all, I did want a tea kettle. This is only $16.99. But I did want one because I'm tired of using my curate to heat up my water. Like, it be still tasting like watered down coffee. Hey y'all, it is Thursday and it feels so good outside y'all. It's 80 degrees, as you can hence why I look like it's summertime in February, <laughs> but it's 80 degrees outside. Me and babe are on our way to do something fun. Guys, as y'all know, I have talked about me wanting a new car for the longest, okay? I've said it and I'm getting a new car this year. I want a new car for my birthday. And the car that I want is a BMW X6. I just love how it's just, I like the slope back. It's just get at, don't F with me look. You know what I'm saying? Like that's, it's just, it's just, to me it's a car that a man or a woman can rock. And I'm not really, despite how I look y'all, I'm not really a girly girl. He says that about me all the time. And he be like, what type of girl are you? Because I don't be having stuff like hand lotion. You know, 
the stuff that you need <laughs> like so i don't know i'm just not i'm not a girly girl i'll say that and um i just love how the bmw is the x6 is just to me it's like a man or a woman can rock that car even though it's just a car like technically a man or a woman can rock any car but you know how some cars just look more manly and some cars look more womanly you know what i'm saying so i love that car i need a bigger car for my babies y'all as y'all know i have twins i have four kids total so it does get cramped in my car the car i have now is definitely a compact car so yeah that's what we're doing today so i made sure to tell them that i will not be ready to purchase until this summer and today we're just gonna test drive it also they have a 2024 bmw x6 coming out she said that the production starts well not the production it has already been made but it actually starts becoming for sale in april but they don't have that of course for me to test drive or look at but i like i think i like the 2024 version because they have completely changed the inside for this car now so it's not like how it normally has looked for years on back um so that's what we're doing today you guys i'm like so excited this is my first time actually driving the car if y'all only knew how many times i have went to the dealership to just look at it just to look at it just to just look at it <laughs> so for me to actually be driving it i'm excited today and then we're gonna go get some food or something because it feels too good outside we ain't got no kids until five o'clock anyway but hmm. this is it right here y'all y'all see what i mean about the slope back you see it right there it just looks so <clears throat> you know what i'm saying Look at this, y'all. I'm pretty sure <laughs> somebody experienced this before, but you know I got an old car. So look, it show you everything that's around you when you're backing up, like the entire par tar parking spot. And that's what I be needing, baby, because the amount of times I have almost hit somebody is ridiculous. Oh, but I have to look. <laughs> I'm driving now in my car so I don't it's dark so I know y'all can't see me probably too good so I won't talk too long <laughs> who am I kidding I'm event <laughs> anyway um, I'm about to go out with my friend I literally have the same thing on that I had on earlier. Oh, you can see me now. But, um, y'all, I enjoy driving, test driving the car so much. Like, it just made my heart so full, especially since that was my first time driving it. And it's like everything was just lining up right. Like, everything was lining up right. When we went there, the lady wasn't trying to be, you know, all into what do you do and how much do you make and none of that and she was not pressuring me at all um she honestly was trying to kind of steer me away from just being so focused on the 2024 maybe because she wanted to sell right now i don't know but um because she was saying that it really wasn't like a big difference other than the screen and the front looks different and honestly when i seen the screen in another car I didn't like how it looked but I don't know if it would be the same because that was just like a completely different car but the car I loved how the car drove now I drove a M trim car which is more so like it had a I think she said it had a I want to say that one had a six cylinder or eight one of them and she just was saying that if I wanted the M sport car it pretty much would add another 20,000 to the price of the car and she said really all that does is give you a bigger cylinder or engine or whatever something to make you go faster which y'all know that's not really my concern I'm not about to be out here drag racing or on a racetrack or none of that like you know what I'm saying like this is just a a car that I'm going to be using for personal use not for 
bracelet um so she was saying like if you because the m the m trim it does come with different features for the car so if you wanted to get the m package meaning you get the different features that come with it you can do that you can add that onto the car and it's like three thousand or something versus getting a a, a a completely m sport car which comes with the eight cylinder engine and stuff which is twenty thousand more so i feel like that would be the most um that would be the most smartest route for me because I don't care about it going fast. That's not my concern, you know? Um, and so first of all, I thought that we would have had to test drive with her, but we did. She let us drive it by ourselves. And not only that, once we got in the car, she was saying that, well, before we got in the car, she was saying that usually test drives last 15 to 30 minutes. And then when I got in the car and I was driving, she was like, hey, I have a client um, well, I have a customer so she was like y'all could just go grab lunch or whatever she said because they'll be here uh, for another hour or so so we oh sorry so we end up if we we had a car from like 12 50 to about two I'll say like 230 so we had a car for a little for a good little bit i really like it i really do i really like it the color that i was driving that's not the color i would want i want a white one that the color we had was like a dark blue but as far as the inside of it i do love how the inside look the color that was in the inside one was called oyster which i like the the um the bright inside like the white well it's not really white it's like a very 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 light gray and I like that, but I was so hesitant with getting it because y'all know I have kids, but she was saying that it's not made with real leather, so it's, it doesn't like wrinkle up and all this other stuff. And she was saying that um, it has some type of something on it that pretty much keeps it clean. Like if something does go, get on it, all you need to do is take a wipe and it wipes away. And she was saying it also comes with a seven year warranty. So if you burn, make a burn or something that can't be fixed, they'll replace it. So, um, I told her that I'm looking to buy for my birthday, which is July. So, y'all, I'm just having faith. That's it. I'm just having faith because if I'm being honest right now, that is not a car that I can, like, I would be able to afford the monthly payments, but not while making other bills, like, while, not while having other bills right now, you know? But, um, because the car is like, she was saying for the 2024 one, it's going to be like 74000 so yeah, that's quite expensive. And my car that I have now, I think I paid sixteen thousand. <laughs> so in my car payment, when I first got my car, was like three twenty something. And it was only sixteen thousand. So imagine how much a seventy four thousand would be. And I had a low interest rate. My interest rate was like three percent. So, but that was that. I enjoyed that, y'all. Now I'm about to go eat with my friend because I had to get out the house. I was tired of being around kids, tired of being around my man, tired of being, I just needed to be around my friend, not no man or no kids, okay? So, yeah. Mm. Money, hold up, got a cut up, lot of orders, dollars, quarters, wits, water, reach, water, bitch, on the, on the, on the, come on. Come on, holla, hey, I'm a stunner, 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 summer, been in, holla, cook up, hey. Hey guys, it is Friday. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Um, so it's early in the morning. I'm about to go to Target right quick because, hold on, let me tell y'all. After we leave. I hope they got them because all yesterday they were showing as being sold out here. But, I woke up this morning and they said they had six in stock. So, and they on sale, y'all. And I'm going to tell y'all, I'm going to tell y'all, I'm going to tell y'all. Y'all see how much that costs, but it's on sale, y'all, for one ninety nine. So I got to get it. Only given. Oh, this is giving laptop fear. Oh, I like that. It's like a real computer. But it's what I pay. Seven. Come on, you paid seven hundred dollars for your Apple Watch. Okay, y'all, I'm back in the car. So, I had told myself that I was going to treat myself to some new headphones when the time was right. I really wanted some new headphones only because now that I'm being very consistent in the gym, 
as far as like actually going in there and working out and having like a intense workout I said that it's time you know what I'm saying like I wanted to treat myself to that usually I treat myself to food or something but I'm trying to get myself out of the feeling of I gotta treat myself to food because that kind of like contradicts what I'm trying to do but I was like I didn't want to pay a lot of money well it's still a lot of money but I didn't want to pay no crazy amount well the headphones I wanted was either the Apple AirPods Pro Max or the ones that I just showed y'all but Aaliyah's face she had recently just got gifted the Apple AirPods Pro Max from NARS and they, she was saying that the sound is not loud enough and that I did not I didn't want that issue because the issue I'm having with my AirPods now is for one for some reason it's not loud anymore and for two every time I go to the gym and I go into the sauna they go dead y'all like they go dead they can be a hundred percent charged up I put them in my ear as soon as I sit down in the sauna I probably be in there a couple of minutes and they go dead like completely dead and um then I'll have to put them back in the case and I'll have to wait until they charge back up, which is frustrating. So it just was, you know, different things that was going on. Um, that was just irritating me with my AirPods, but I'm still for sure gonna still use these because I'm not about to be walking around just with big tail headphones on my head. But I definitely um, seen them. It, but what really made me wanna get those is because their normal price $350. And Target, had them on sale for $1.99. So, and I looked, you know, other places to compare to see if anybody else was cheaper. And for those particular ones, which are the Studio 3 noise cancellation headphones, no. Like, even Best Buy right now, they got them on sale, but on sale for $2.50. So, Target had it on sale for $1.99. So, yesterday I was going to go get them, but the only Target that they had it at was like far away from my house. So, I was like, you know what? I'm going to just wait. I'm going to wait it out let the time be right for me to get it and then I woke up this morning and I just so happened to check to see if they were still in stock because I was going to get them delivered to me and it said they had them in the one by me the target by me and they had like six even though when I went in there I didn't see no six but whatever they had my business they had mine they had the one I wanted here they are I went drinking last night but the way I feel and I hope it's not because I'm getting older because I have heard that some people as they get older they can't handle alcohol like they used to so they be really like hurting because the way I feel y'all I need a bathroom long story look I ain't trying to go too much into detail but I need a bathroom and a bed that's what I need because I am tired when we went to go sign them up for daycare I had to ask their daddy how to spell uh, Kaylani's middle name because I couldn't even think. I couldn't even think straight. <laughs> but I got it done, y'all. I, I just had to. I went out. Well, y'all know I went out last night, but. Mm -mm. I think that error for me is over. Like, you know what I'm saying? Maybe get a little one drink, but baby, I cannot. Two 
too much? Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Hey, y'all. I'm on my phone if the quality look a little different, but it's Saturday. It is pouring outside. Um, I, y'all, it's, what time is it, Elijah? It's 3.06 and I got out of bed at 2.14. I was so tired. I have never slept in that long in my life. I did take some allergy medicine last night, which, you know, it makes you drowsy and stuff like that. But when I woke up this morning around like eight, because the twins was up, I told their dad, I just was like, hold on y'all, he's calling me. So I had woke up around like eight something and then I just went back to sleep until like two something. But anyway, I don't feel like cooking. I don't feel like doing nothing. I, don't, I just don't feel like it. So yesterday I had ordered something from Outback on DoorDash. And I don't know if y'all remember me telling y'all before that they always forget to bring my sauce that's supposed to come with my sandwich. So yesterday, okay, rewind. This past Saturday on the twins' birthday, so the 18th of February, I ordered it. I called before my food came and said, can y'all please make sure the sauce is in the bag? She was like, yes, I wrote it down. We'll make sure it was in the bag y'all think it was in a bag no so yesterday i called again i spoke to a manager this time i said you know i'm not trying to be disrespectful i'm not trying to be rude but i keep ordering this sandwich and the sauce that comes i only order the sandwich because i like the sauce that's it it's just a chicken sandwich i don't yeah so i said that i'm about to place an order on doordash can you please make sure the sauce is in the bag please please i'm begging you for dear life he was like yeah. yvette he said i'm gonna promise you that the sauce is going to be in the bag he said i'm gonna be here all day so i'm gonna keep a lookout for your name coming through on doordash he said if it does not if it if the if the bag comes and no sauce is in it he said i am going to give you your next free meal on me he said matter of fact if the sauce is not in the bag i'm gonna give you your next two meals on me i said okay so I ordered it. Food came. No sauce in the bag. So <laughs> I called them. I talked to him. He said, well, I'm a man of my word. So he gave me a $60 credit to use for anything I want when I come in there. So I said, I'm going to put that to use today. I got the twins and I got Elijah. Yeah, so we about to go sit down and eat, y'all. It's pouring down, though. If I knew it was pouring down like this, I probably have went nowhere but i ain't realized until we were about to walk out the door so yeah we are finally situated y'all he was acting a fool y'all see i had to bring the tablet out she, she, wants you know that she wants you to give her the crayon all right sit down and color good job sit down boo -boo. sit down here go ahead and color go ahead and color <laughs> I got my sandwich. This is the sauce, y'all, right here. <laughs> he got an appetizer. Look at this, y'all. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, it's all at home. I had to, uh, the meal turned out good, y'all. I end up, after the credit, I end up only having to pay $11 for all that food. So that turned out good. Uh, I had to stop by. CVS though y'all because the way my nose has been running like my nose has always ran I've always suffered with allergies but now it has been running so much it is only in this nostril my right nostril hey so it's been really bad to the point where every time I'm talking my I could be mid conversation with somebody and I gotta be like excuse me I just need a tissue I was at the dealership talking to the lady about the car and I said I'm so sorry to stop you I gotta get a tissue so I, I, I'm over it y'all so I took some Dirtec last night, which is probably why I slept in so late today because I took two pills and not one. But I also stopped by CVS. I also stopped by CVS just now and got some Flonase, y'all. This is so expensive. This was $29. They had it on sale for $25.99. Then I had a $5 off coupon any allergy item. So I paid $20 for it. I love Flonase so much better than, y'all, I recently have brought, I want to say it's Nasonex or something like that. Terrible. Terrible. I had to go take it back, and I will never take medicine back. 
I just, you know what I'm saying? Call it a loss. I took that back because it was so watery to the point where y'all see I just sprayed the flow nays and nothing came back down. That I sprayed, it came back down immediately and it tasted disgusting. Like the entire, even the next day, I could barely eat my food because that taste was still in my mouth. So anyway, I'm just about to chill y'all. The twins dad, he left me to go hang out with the guys. And he won't be he won't be back until tomorrow because he like traveled far to go visit his friend. So I'm here by myself. So I can't wait until I can't wait until eight o'clock come. Well, I'm here with the kids, but I can't wait until eight o'clock come so I can chill and relax. I'm gonna watch me some Harlem. I'm not doing any cleaning up like I should be. Look at y'all see her mouth. Look, you see the. Yeah, you look silly. How dare you call 911 non emergency? Can dogs eat bananas? I, I gotta look and see. I could have just Googled this. <laughs> I thought y'all knew. Y'all got dogs. Hold on. Uh... Hi, doggy. You should be given as a treat, not, not, not. Hi, doggy. Hi, hi. Wait, 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 my dad is called checking. What do you find out yet? Alright. Oh, there's another picture okay. right there. Okay. Yeah. Dang! Okay. Alright. <laughs> Seven, two, seven, six. Ma. <laughs> that dog was tripping now. Oh. You don't want it? You don't want it? I'll check you. The man at, at the 7 Eleven want it. Yes. Uh uh. I'll check him. The cashier. You gonna go take him? This poor dog. Fire or animal control. Press one. For the three one. What street is we on? Hi, my name is Yvette. I was calling because I'm currently on. Let me see what street this is. I'm sorry, I'm getting to the end of it now. Lee and. Lee and yes, it was a. I was in a 7-Eleven right around the corner, and the lady she was like pretty much beating her dog and now the dog is like she's letting the dog run away from her and she she asked me she was like do you want the dog take him I don't want the dog and so I I, can't, I, I don't want the dog because I don't want a dog but I just wanted to call somebody because obviously he's not in the right care um, I can have an officer call you and I'm controlling does not work on the weekend yeah okay I can have it out y'all people is really like I don't know if I feel this way only because my mom, you know, has a dog now, so I see dogs often. But um, but what happened was we were in 7-Eleven and it was this lady in there. Well, we seen her like beating. We thought she was beating a person. I felt so bad for the dog, y'all. Like it was a puppy. And the dog was trying to get away from her. She was beating that dog. I thought it was a person the way she was beating that dog. Lord, my dad on camera. I only got four minutes left, but anyway. I guess there's nothing that they're able to do. They say animal control. He was like, do you want me to give you a call back? Do you want animal control to give you a call back tomorrow, 8 o'clock in the morning? That dog probably been the gone by then. So, I don't know. Anyway, I'm on my way to the gym. I got the twins with me. Hey y'all, editing Yvette here. So I realized that I didn't even finish telling y'all the story. So what happened was we were in 7-Eleven and we seen this lady like fussing and beating the mess out of, like we didn't know what it was. We thought it was a person because she was in a car. So she, the dog ended up running out of the car and in, into 7-Eleven trying to get away from her. So the dog was on the leash. She dragged the dog. And mind you, you guys, like, I grew up with a, um, a dog in the house, so I understand, like, sometimes you might, you know, beat your dog or something if they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing or, you know, just 
you know, if you are a dog owner, then you know, you pretty much punishing the dog or however you discipline the dog. But she was beating the dog on a whole nother level, like abusing the dog to the point where everybody in 7-Eleven was looking like, why is she doing that? So she was outside making it seem like she was trying to get the dog back in the car, but she was not. You could tell she wasn't because she could have easily picked up the dog or just you know got the dog in the car. the car the dog wasn't acting that crazy to the point where she couldn't get the dog in the car she was trying to get that dog to run away from her that's what she was trying to do so i ended up going back home for something and then when i was leaving out i had saw the dog again by itself like just running on the sidewalk running in the street nobody was there to even see if the dog would get hit by a car or anything she so at that time i didn't know that she was actually sitting in her car and she just had the dog like just running around on a busy street, not even trying to see if making sure the dog don't get hit. So when she saw me in the car and when I was going like, like that's when she came out and she was like, do you want a dog? And I was like, no. But when we were in 7-Eleven, the cashier actually said that he wanted the dog. So he was like, if that dog come back here, I'm going to take the dog because obviously she doesn't want it. And um, so that's why I was telling her the cashier wanted the dog. And she was like are you going to take the dog to him? And I was like, no, <laughs> I'm not putting that dog in my car because I don't know, you know, what the dog I have. I don't know nothing. And mind you, the kids was in the car. So I definitely won't do that. But she did not care y'all. Like if y'all could have saw the way she was beating the mess out of that dog, like abusing, pulling the dog, like yanking the dog. Y'all. So I had to call animal control, but they said that they were closed on the weekends and that the, a police officer can call me. And he was like, he couldn't do anything because he didn't have any information on the lady. And all they could do was get animal control to call me Monday morning. But honestly, by then, that dog probably either be dead or like hurt somewhere because she did not care. And honestly, she looked like she was on, on something. But yeah, I just wanted to give you all context of what, what was the whole big reason as to why. Because, you know, I've seen people like, you know, pat they like might beat their butt or something like that or, you know, something like that but she y'all she was she was abusing that dog so yeah all right y'all it's very much so the next day y'all i was so overstimulated yesterday i could not i just i was like i can't i can't do it i can't do no more so i didn't pick back up the camera um but i did go to old navy and i got quite a few quite a few things so i'm gonna show y'all what i got so i got two bags worth of stuff y'all as it should have been because it was too much dig on money i thought the coupons were gonna help i don't feel like it helped nothing because i feel like honestly y'all when these big organizations have sales and they know they give away like super cash where you get money off and stuff like that and you know old navy usually they always have sale on their items but i feel like they didn't really have any sales on their items because they knew that it was the last day for the super cash and they knew people would be coming in trying to use it so like even sweatpants for like noel age my eight-year-old it was 25 dollars. like what y'all are tripping but i'm not gonna go in no specific order and i ain't gonna talk too much we're gonna get through this okay all right got these for khalil cute little ripped jeans Oh, I had these socks, you guys, because I found it. I said I wasn't going to do too much socks and look at me. Anyway, I got these socks last time and I, that I went to Old Navy in my last vlog. And I really like it. I like the ruffles. And they were on clearance for $3. I actually have some on today that I wore to the gym. I seen these shirts. They was on clearance for $0.99. Cent. So it just says be true to yourself. My, no, my kids can't fit it because they only had an extra large left. And they only had two extra larges. So I bought one for my nephew. More socks. This is in the color cream. My son already took these out, but I got some socks for the boys, the older boys. Like he wanted some underwear, y'all. The underwear, the pack of underwear was $28. Like have y'all lost y'all bag on mine? So I got this shirt for Kehlani. It says sister, it's a pink shirt. This is for Khalil, has cute little sharks on it. This is for Khalil too, got fire trucks on it. Kaylani, 
have unicorns on it. They need some shirts because, you know, they get older and it's starting to get springtime. And they're going to a new daycare. So, yeah. I got the brother shirt for Khalil. <laughs> so, they probably wear that together. I also, the I, these shorts are for Kalani when they get warm outside. I bought it and I bought this shirt to go with it. The unicorn shirt. I thought it would look good to bring out the yellow in the shirt. So, that's why I got that. I got these pink jeans for Kalani. This Barbie shirt that has all the different color Barbies on it. I thought it was so cute. I got this um, romper for her. Want to get warm outside. Some more socks for my other son. Got two more super caches. Then I got this shirt for Noelle. It just has teddy bears on it. This was on clearance. It's just a plain gray shirt, 99 cent. Got this shirt for him as well because he needs some shirts, y'all. He growing out of his shirts. I didn't really get anything for Elijah other than um, these sweats right here. I found these pants. Y'all, first of all, Old Navy is my favorite. Well, I can't say my favorite brand because I never really tried that many brands for fitness wear or active wear. Um, but I really like Old Navy active wear. So I've seen these in there. These are some short, uh, bike shorts. And these was on clearance for $3. I also seen these in there. Got pockets on the back. These was on clearance for $12.50. And they got pockets. Oh, yeah, they got. Oh, and they got pockets with zippers. So total, they got is zippers on both sides. Nope, on one side. But that's all right. I like that they have the zipper. Because I be hating when stuff might fall out my pocket. Okay, so they got pockets in the back. Pockets on the side. And a zipper pocket. Heard you. I found these pants. I don't know if y'all can see it. <laughs> but these pants, um, these are active wear also. So I got these. I like the color of it. And then I figured with this waistband, I wanted to match a top with it. So I got this cream color. Well, it's like, it's not like white, white, even though it might look like it. But I got this to match. Because listen, baby, my mom, the whole time, she kept saying something about the clothes that I was buying. Like, where are you going to wear that to with your stomach hanging out? But, y'all, I'm buying stuff for when I am in shape. Like, because <laughs> I don't want to buy stuff for right now. I have clothes for right now, fitness wear. I want to buy for when that time comes. So, I could be. I like doing that. I like buying stuff for the size that I achieve to be. Because I know how small I can get. Because I got there before. So, yeah. So, like, I want to look cute. And they have 40% off at all active wear. So yeah, I found this. This is a one sleeved black bodysuit fitness wear. These are just some straight leg pants, but they're fitness wear also. They come with the zipper pocket. And then they had a jacket on a mannequin that I was like, oh, that looks so cute. So this is the jacket right here. <clears throat> and that is it. That's all I got. So, I'm going to go ahead and end out the video right here, y'all, because it's Monday, and I need to get situated with starting my next video. So, I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.